Simon, what do you do? Hey, I'm uh, from Toronto. I'm a visual storyteller. If you would describe yourself in three words, what would it be? Three words. Uh, stubborn, spontaneous, and ambitious. What would your perfect day be like? Perfect day is a day with a good meal, uh, especially a good breakfast. What could you spend all day talking about? Architecture, easily. What is the one thing you cannot go a day without? Coffee. And it's right here, so let's get inside. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Fantastic. Can I bother you for a coffee, please? Of course. What would you like to have? Uh, Americano would be great. Yes. Thank you so much. Do you always order Americano? Typically, yes. Do you like to put different types of milk in it? No, no milk, no nothing going into it. Potentially some sugar. I'm lactose intolerant, unfortunately. If you had to order a pastry with it, what would it be? It depends on where I am. Uh, since we're in Sweden, I'll probably go for like some sort of bun, maybe a cinnamon bun. Tim Hortons or Starbucks? Oh, I mean, home is the most important thing for me, so it's Tim Hortons for sure. What is the best sound in the world? Unusual question, but I would definitely have to say a thunderstorm or lightning strike or something like that. If you were in a band, what kind of music would you play? Um, it would be a jazz band, I think. <laughs> what do you spend most of your time doing? I spend a lot of time organizing and planning trips and projects. Thank you so much. What do you spend way too much money on? Coffee. <laughs> Would you rather go out or stay in on a Friday night? Oh, good question. Uh, probably party. I'm a huge party animal. I love entertaining people, so that's my thing. How has your year been so far? Oh, it's been off to such a great start. I'm really happy where I am right now. What is the best thing that happened to you this year? This year, uh, I had the opportunity to take my niece and my nephew to Mexico and on their very first vacation, which was awesome to experience. What big life changes have you recently experienced? Uh, I decided to stay in Toronto. I know it's a big decision, but thank you. You're welcome. But it's one that I'm, uh, I'm going to stick with for a while. Can you tell us more about how you started YouTube? Yeah, so YouTube was a very spontaneous decision. I went on the platform, just started sharing videos of my travels, and then I actually left the platform because I was a little bit confused with how I want to utilize it. And then my friends uh, convinced me to get back on it and start pumping out content so people could learn a thing or two from me, which I found to be a, a better way to utilize the platform. What did YouTube mean to you then? YouTube at the time meant uh, a place that I could just kind of distract myself and learn a thing or two. Um, and now it's kind of changed quite a bit for me as an experience. Uh, it's a place where I can uh, relieve a lot of my creative frustrations and share content online with people. What is the main quality you look for in a significant other? <laughs> Something like this, uh, very pleasant. No, uh, I think honesty is a very important quality to have as a person. Uh, and it, it, it means being open with each other and uh, having conversation, which is probably the best thing you can do in any relationship. How many siblings do you have? Oh, this is so good. Um, I have three lovely siblings, uh, three sisters actually, and the youngest out of four. What is your favorite childhood memory? I, I grew up in Iraq, and um, I don't. I wouldn't say this is my favorite, but it's one that I kind of relive a lot. This was a stupid decision. I pushed uh, my cousin that was my age off of um, our rooftop. Um, not, we're not talking about like four stories. We're talking about like two, maybe less than two. Because um, he was looking over the edge, and he said, "Wouldn't it be cool if you could fly?" And uh, as a five-year-old, your immediate thought shouldn't be, well, you should go check it out yourself, you know, and just push him, but that's what happened. What is your favorite thing about your career? My favorite thing about my career, um, I really enjoy uh, being able to share stories with people and uh, getting to meet people around the world. I think the one thing I loved about any form of art is the reaction that you get with it. And not only the reaction, the interaction that it also allows. Um, and having a dialogue around art is something that I've been very, um, vocal and advocating for, so uh, it's, it's changed my life in many ways. How has traveling fueled your content? 
Traveling has fueled every bit of not just my content, but my life. It is my yearly, monthly routine. It's something that I enjoy doing and it's uh, a part of my personality. So it has a huge influence on the type of work I produce, specifically when it's about culture or finding and discovering new places. What are some of the projects you are focusing on right now? Right now, my main goal is to put together this production company that I've been working on for the last couple of years and really have a, a solid team of people that I can rely on and start tackling some really crazy jobs around the world. If you hadn't started a YouTube channel, what would you be doing today? If I didn't start YouTube, I'd probably be a stripper. No, I'm kidding. Um, if, I didn't, if I didn't start YouTube, I would probably be still on social media, um, on Instagram, sharing content. And if I wasn't on any social media platform, I'd definitely be pursuing architecture. What do you consider to be the highlight of your life? The highlight of my life is uh, continuing my life and doing the things I enjoy. I think having the ultimate freedom to be able to make the decisions I make on a daily basis without having any limitations is, uh, is literally like living like a superhero. I think it's, it's awesome. If you could tell yourself from 12 years ago one thing, what would it be? Don't do it. Whatever it was, I made so many bad decisions in my life. Uh, but to be honest with you, maybe I would have continued doing them regardless if I had known the consequences. Because I think that's the, it allowed me to become the person I am today, which I'm, I'm happy about. What is the biggest change you want to make in your life? I would really like to refocus a little bit and start raising awareness on issues around the world. I think there's a, a lot of displacement of people. There's environmental issues that are not really getting enough coverage and forefront. Um, just really talking about things that affect everyone on a daily basis. It's actually getting really late. I need to head out. Well, just a few more questions. All right, just walk with me. For what in your life do you feel most grateful? Oh, I feel very grateful to have a very strong support system that's good friends, good family, just a good working environment to be in. What goals do you have for the next five years? Next five years are going to be challenging, but I really want to uh, definitely get a house somewhere in Italy or somewhere in Europe. You know, have an escape plan in case uh, I get tired of the winters in Toronto. What three habits will improve your life? Three habits that improve anyone's life are waking up early in the morning, starting off your day every day early, bright and early. Uh, second thing is really focusing on one thing at a time. Don't try to multitask. Get one job done and then move on to the other. And the third thing is try to learn as much as you can about anything. Just keep developing your sense of understanding and your knowledge base. What is the best piece of advice for aspiring creators? My one piece of advice for any aspiring creator is to challenge yourself to think differently. I think we influence each other a lot and we are able to learn from each other, but it's really difficult to stand out. And that's one thing that you have to be persistent on and constantly developing your skills um, and looking at things in a different way. If someone's doing it in one direction, try to do go in another, another different direction. Or if they're doing one thing, seeing ways that you can develop that concept and make it more unique to who you are as a creator. That was a great Fika. That was an amazing Fika. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I gotta run. Peace.